law is that the pension expense that the county is going to report is the annual required contribution. Now, it's more complicated than this, like everything, right? I said everything's got a lot of its and buts, but this is the basic concept. The amount that the county is supposed to pay to the pension fund is going to be reported as its expense. And there's two parts to this contribution. There's the normal contribution that Jane and the county are splitting. And then there's those extra payments that only the county has to make to amortize the unfunded liability. It doesn't include pension bonds. Okay. In 2011, Minnesota County's uh, actuary said we have $125 million unfunded liability. Okay. So he um, created an amortization schedule, 30 years of payments. And if everything goes according to plan, at the end of the, these 30 years of payments, that UAL will be eliminated. Now, this is where it came from. The county sold pension bonds right here, so it eliminated the unfunded pensions. And these bars here are the change in, every year in the unfunded liability. There were six years where it got bigger. Two years were good, got smaller. This little area here is the balance of it that wound up up here. So here's the trillion dollar question. When did the expense happen that created that debt? That's the question. When did the expense happen? Go back to the current rule. The pension expense is the combination of your normal contribution each year and the payments you make to eliminate the unfunded liability. So what's going to happen under the old rules is the normal cost in each of these years is going to be added to this, and that's going to be reported as that year's pension expense. What the financial statements are trying to tell us is that the payment of a debt creates the debt. Payments of debt don't create debt, they eliminate debt. But the debt was created here. But that's not where they report the expense of this debt. They spread it out over 30 years in the future. So decisions to grant retroactive benefit increases never shows up. Um, the, uh, all the things that increase the liability, uh, even failures to achieve target rates of return, happen here and never get reported. So government officials are going along doing these things, are not doing them, and no number ever shows up, and we don't ever hear about the problem because they're going to report that expense that they did here 30 years in the future when they're gone. That's the fatal flaw. It's just simple, you know, that this is not when it happens. This is when it happens, okay? These are those eight years before. These are the increases. This was the couple of years that were good, okay? This is what the county paid to the pension fund and reported as its pension expense. Go ahead. This is what GASB 68 would have made them report. This is four times more. It's four times more than what the county reported. In those eight years, the county reported that it had a $60 million surplus. If GASB 68 had been in effect, they would have reported a $100 million deficit. Now, we're a small county. The only reason, I believe, that most governments are able to report that they have balanced budgets is because they're able to get away with this. They don't have to report the pension expenses when they incur them. And I think once, they, once this hits two years from now, we're going to see oceans of red ink all across this country because I really do believe that most local governments are going to suddenly start telling us, oh, gee, we're not making money. We're losing it. 